Hi, my name is Jackson and I am doing a vlog for my Intro to Cinema class final and today I'll be talking about George Lucas's Star Wars A New Hope, which is the fourth movie of the sixth and I would like to talk about the sound effects and the music of the movie. Sound effects have really come a long way since the in 1977, way back when this movie was filmed. Uh, they had to hand make these, these uh, special effects which I think is super cool and super impressive because it's just people just playing around with knickknacks and just stuff outside and they're just, wow, this could be a really cool sound effect for a movie. I want to talk about the laser first because it was accidentally found by Ben Burt, the sound designer. He was on a vacation and he had he was hanging out by a radio station with a hammer for some reason and he accidentally hit it and it was like, holy crap, that sounds like a freaking laser. I should put it in the movie. And the audience reacted the same, like, holy crap, that's a freaking laser, that's awesome. Ben Bird is also responsible for the R2-D2 noise, the lightsaber hum, and, of course, the Vader breath. R2-D2 was, is a huge part of the movie, and the noise was just made by Ben Burt, just goofing around with his mouth and just making the noises. Uh, the lightsaber hum was made by a projector idol and a broken TV feedback, which is crazy because I would have never thought that would, those two noises and the Vader breath was made by a with again just Ben Burt and a scuba regulator which a scuba regulator is a tube that connects the oxygen tank to the actual where you inhale the oxygen it kind of like depressurizes it and the breath itself like everyone's tried it it's the most monumental thing because Darth Vader is such a bad super villain or villain of sorts that everyone wants to be like when they play bad guy you want to be Darth Vader so you mimic the breath and it's just it's just iconic I'd like to talk about the music of the movie I'm just going to talk to you about a one song in particular called the Cantina Bar song which was written by John Williams he also composed it uh this song started when the two main characters of the movie Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker walk into this cantina and the cantina is full of aliens, droids, and other like hunters from other planets and so they all look crazy and gross and weird and you really get drawn into the movie of you get drawn into the movie and what George Lucas really wants the movie to feel like and this song that's just overlaying when it's playing is this cool laid-back song and it's like oh these hunters are cool but they'll also shoot you if you get in their way so they're that's it just like the song itself it just do 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 it just gets caught in your head so easy and that's why the scene is so memorable and not only is it the scene itself memorable but but the character that's introduced during the song is Han Solo and he is like the most one of the most iconic characters of the movie being the cool ladies man sly with his words and he's also a hunter he's i guess not that bad looking either but the song itself tied to a super cool character and a super cool place to be really just makes it a song where you want to listen to. Uh, thank you. My name is Jackson again, and this is my final, my final vlog, and have a good day.